Hello everybody, this is Red Corn Woodworking, where we like to grow together, try to learn new things in woodworking, try to challenge ourselves. Today's project is not going to be too challenging. I have a customer requesting a firewood box. We're going to get that knocked out today. Dimensions are 2 foot by 3 foot by some other number of feet. I can't remember right now, but I'll look it up and I'll let you know. Let's get started. All right, that third dimension I was talking about was 18 inches deep. I just went to my local box store. I got some one by four pine here. Uh, I'm gonna get this all planed down so it's all the same thickness and cleaned up a little bit. This part's gonna get noisy. Okay, so we got all our boards cut the length. Uh, luckily, I had some scrap wood that I have salvaged from job sites from around painting houses. Uh, but we're going to get everything cut down. You see, I don't know if you can see this. But when you buy a board, it's got these rounded over edges. We're going to cut those off. That way, everything sits nice and smooth to its adjoining partner, if you will. So I've adjusted the the fence over enough to just cut that rounded over part off of the board. Go through the whole stack. And then I get to put the board over and do it again. Cover your ears. <laughs> FYI, if you have a table with wheels, make sure you lock your wheels. I was doing that just as an example of what not to do. Okay. Nice square, round. So 
Get these stacks knocked out. And I'll get right back with you. Okay, so now I'm about to cut some of these offsets. They got a little channel in them because they were uh, ship lap. I'm going to cut that off. We're going to use these to frame out the inside of the box. But I got to get rid of that channel first. Before I get too far ahead of myself, I do need to cut a length off of, or rip off a little bit of this board, just so that when I put them all together, it will equal to 18 inches. So I'm get my fence set up, get this cut. Using one inch brad now. Everything up to the edge. I'm 
this side and then I'll get back with y'all. So far I have went ahead and put the uh, turn some rounds so you can see. Put the bottom on. Uh, did, re did put screws there, pre-drill the hose so you don't bust out the sides. Um, put screws in there just because this is going to have weight in it. It's going to have some some fire logs and stuff. But now, I got to uh, put some boards here on the inside to help keep these from flexing on us. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. Oh, and I also put screws on the sides here just to reinforce our corners. Just got to be the other side now. And that's why we're putting the screws in it. Okay, so now I'm going to rep a 45 on the edge. These are going to be the legs that put the box up off the ground. Get my flint and my blades in here. 45. Try to line up my cut best I can. 
<coughs> yeah, excuse me. Now, if you're building cabinets, you want to put it at a 45 point or 44, something like that. for them knots, they'll kick stuff back at you. quick tip on how to join 45's together you line them up like so take you some masking tape put it right down the seam and make sure they tight together there mash your tape down and then Fold together just like that. And another thing, whenever you nail, those brad nails have a little little point on them. So if I was to nail this way, that nail could kick out the other side of the board or in this side. So I nail this way. So if it does bend, it, it's bending inside the board. Side. Boom, 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 bada bing, bada boom, want to grow on. There you go, you can pull your tape off, and it rips and shreds. But it's together. That part's a little ugly. But we'll just put it on the back side. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some screws in this leg just so it's not just brad nailed to the structure here. Um, let's see. Just kind of eyeball. I just hope and pray I don't go through the other side. A little pre-drill. I'm going to use this bad boy here. That way I can make the hole in there a little board out so I can fill it with a dowel rod to hide, hide the screw. down there in that hole. If it ain't clogged up, probably is. It'll lift the lid. There we go. There you go. Spread some glue. Take your dowel rod. Where's my hammer? Right next to my foot where I wasn't looking. Tap it in. Wipe up that excess glue, take your flush trim saw. Try to keep my hand out of your way so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. 
Oh, well, chicken's freaking out. I gotta go save one. All right, so now we've got the legs on. I might decide to put a lid on it later. But then if you put lids on things, people want to put stuff on top of those lids and then you can't get to your firewood without moving a bunch of junk off of it. So I don't know, I'll think about it. But yeah, that's all there is to it. All you got to do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, do it, do it, do it. It's sturdy. It'll hold firewood. It'll look nice. Let's see if the lady likes it. The lady being my mother. And cut. That's a wrap, folks. Go home.